Let me tell you about a fish I wish you could meet. Stands on his own two feet. Well, not two feet, but four more or less. And fish got no feet unless the fish is gone besa. Yes, sir, it has no rival. For species survival. Long, long ago. I mean long, long ago. Lived this fish with eyes aglow deep down below the waves in caves. It swam with ichthyosaurs and even before it seen it all. Sounds odd, think tetrapod. My God, with that bottom is all missing linky. Armored tanky, thanks to tide and time and presto, change old fins to limbs. He came swimming up into the air where legs are all the rage and ages after. Here we are with our big brains buzzing to say hi cousin from your land lover Kim. And snuggle in my ocean bed. I want to be a sealer in the deep blue sea. Rest all day in a nice dark cave and hunt when you can see me. If you'd went fishing in the Ordovician, you'd have missed him. But try the Devonian, the Permian, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, good gracious. You could drop him a line and he's still doing fine. I want my eyes to glow in the dark. I want my fins to move. Just like proto arms and legs as I dance in my coelacanth groove. Maybe nothing's sure but death and taxes, but that fish still exists and don't owe nothing. And the fact is it tastes so bad it got no enemies, or axis of evil to hide from. One bite racks your gut. Now cut to the chase, a case historical, piscatorial, grand Comorian, where some fishermen reeled them in like fossils flipping their double tails. This tall tale turned real, sent science reeling from the scene. It's coelacanth, the dino fish, gompessa, yes sir. And unless a guy's got gills or submarine skills, the museum's where you'll see him nowadays. If I could be a coelacanth, if I could stand on my head, I'd be alright.